Well, what Jay's going to do now is talk about the specialized features in each individual pack. And we're going to start with the All-American. The All-American is the lumbar pack, which is the smaller one we were talking about earlier. It's designed to do anything, and that's why we call it the All-American. It would be fine for a big game pack. It's a little small. It still has ways and straps on the top here that you can actually put coats on top of it. It has a, a pull-out bow carrier. I'm going to go through this thing piece by piece. There's a lot of people that have questions on this pack in particular of how the heck does a fanny pack carry a bow. And um, we figured it out. It's, uh, it's not a quick release system because when we did that and we put that quick release system to play out in the field, the bow was floppy. And I, I don't like a floppy bow. Typically, when you're carrying a bow on a pack, the reason you're carrying it on your pack is you're either walking in the dark or you're walking out in the dark or you're crossing a river or you're climbing a hill. You need your hands free. Uh, if, you are, if you're going to try and quick release your bow and it's on your back, you're not going to be able to go like this if you're trying to get to an animal anyway. You're not going to wave the flag at them and say, here I am. You know, so, so we didn't design this as a quick release pack system. This is designed to carry the bow well and tied up against the pack in the back without clocking you in the back of the head. So uh, I'll get to the bow carrier and show you where that's at. On, on the All-American, you've got, it comes with a full suspension. The shoulder straps have the EVA foam. They adjust in the front and the back. The rotation of the shoulder straps is adjusted by adjusting the front or the back strap. You want these in the proper position over your shoulders. You don't want it too far forward or too far back. So by adjusting it from the front or the back with the slides, the side release slide buckles will allow you to get the shoulder straps right where they belong. Then that will allow you to get your sternum strap where it belongs. Again, like Jim was saying earlier, we don't want that sternum strap up along our neck. We want it down where it, where it fits correctly. So the All-American comes with a full shoulder strap assembly. Has the EVA split waist belt like we talked about. The accessory carriers on the sides. On the outside of this, pack, when you open up this outside organizer pocket, there's stuff for your scents and your, you can put reeds in here. Without having to get into your pack, you can, you can take any of the stuff that you're going to be getting in and out of, your radio, your GPS, and you can put that on this outside pocket and it opens real quietly and you can get into it and it buckles down. There's zippers on both sides and you can close it up so stuff's not going to fall out. And you can clip that down. You know, I'm getting ready to take off for Ohio to hunt whitetails next week, and I'm going to be sitting in a tree stand, and this is exactly what's going to be hanging up there with this open so I can get to it. And we put a strap on this back here in the back, so you can use one of your tree stand screw-in hangers and hang this up on the tree right beside you, and you can, you can get to that stuff. You can spin it around there and get to that stuff. If there's two trees, you know it's always nicer to hook it on the other tree if you have two there, but yeah. it doesn't always work that way. So there's two pockets on each side. Pockets seem to be a real key in the field. If, if you put your flashlight in this pocket every single time, when you go to get it, you're going to be able to go to the flashlight pocket and get your, poc your flashlight out of there. Uh, where the grocery sack program, it's in the grocery sack, it's noisy, and uh, you know, you're know you digging around there trying to find your flashlight, if you remember to bring it. So we have the pocket on the face, we have two pockets on each outer corner, and we have a pocket in here before we get to the main compartment. On the top of the main compartment, there's a license pocket right here. In some states, you're required to have the permit or slash license um, hanging on your back. That's what that little loop's for that a lot of shirts and vests and stuff have. They, they may still want it up here. On a, on a regular backpack, you can um, put it on the outside of the pack. Here, you could put it in here or just use it for your license or whatever you want to get to easily. The zippers are covered with the material to keep the rain and the water out. A big question, people always ask me this, is the pack waterproof? If you swim the stinking river, you're going to get it wet, Jim. If you go hold it in the bathtub to see if it'll leak, it'll leak. Absolutely, it's going to leak. <laughs> it just drives me crazy. Remember I told you, I was going to take it and tie it on a rope and put all my gear in it and drag it through a pond and pull it out of the other side and see if water come out because it's going to. You know, it's not, uh, it's not a dry bag. It's not made for running the river. The waterproof material does an excellent job. The pack does an excellent job. People talk about that all the time, how well. If it rains, my stuff does not get wet. And that's what we're after. So is it waterproof? The material is. 
Will it leak in a rainstorm? Not, not likely, unless you're in Alaska and it's raining sideways for a week. You're probably going to get wet and everything's going to be wet. The inside of your clothes. Jay, yeah. I hunt the rainforest for blacktails in November, right now, this time of the year. And you know what it does? It's a rainforest for a reason. It rains hard and I've not got anything wet on the inside. Okay. So there's the answer to that question. It does a great job and, and Jim is not getting anything wet. This inside pocket on all the packs and we line the bottom with Cordura. I should have mentioned that earlier. All the bottoms are lined with Cordura. All the high stress areas are lined with Cordura. Next to Kevlar, I mean it's Cordura. Cordura is hard to kill. You can't kill the stuff. You can't rip it. You wear a hole in it, it doesn't continue to rip, it just wears a hole. Stuff happens. So the bottom is lined with Cordura. There's a pocket on the back of the pack, along your back, where if you want to add a, a water bladder, you can. There is a hose hole on the side of the pack over here, and you can bring your hose out of there, and you can bring it up over the top of your shoulder. This particular version doesn't have a clip up here. You can sometimes get the clip with the bag, but you can run the hose through the D-ring, and you can have a water bladder with this pack if you choose to. On this All-American, we wanted to have an extra way to make it a little bit bigger. If you get out in the field, it seems like sometimes you're bringing back more, you have some clothes you've taken off, you want to carry in here. It has an expansion zipper. You can unzip this pack and it will expand an inch and a half. You go all the way around the whole pack. and the pack's going to move away from the back an inch and a half. So you have a larger main compartment than you had when you started, which is nice if you need that extra room. You won't always need the extra room. Now, bow carrier. Where is the bow carrier? How do I use the bow carrier? The bow carrier is in a hidden pocket in the bottom of the pack. On the bottom of the Cordura, there's there's a strip right here and you can see the Velcro and you're going to pull that thing open. Our compression straps that I was showing you on the top of the pack that were coming all the way around right here, they come around, they hook to the top of the pack. I'm going to show you that first. They pull this pack in tighter. They go clear around the bottom and they hook back to the back of the pack where it's up against your back. As you pull this thing in, if you're only using part of the capacity, it pulls it in so it's not sagging off your back. You can use these straps as compression straps to bring the pack in, and you can use these straps to put a coat on top up here. So once you have it loaded with the gear you want, you don't want a rattly pack. What you want is you want a nice snug pack. Pull those things down and pull that pack in. When you're getting the bow carrier out, it doesn't matter if those are opened or closed. The bow carrier is in this hidden Cordura pocket down the bottom. It's not Cordura. It's uh, Velcroed. The bow pocket comes out like that and there's all this webbing that is very confusing to people. If you unsort this webbing, it's really not as confusing as you look. When you, when you look at it, there's a, a, there's a closed loop right there on the top of this. And you can see it right there, that's a closed loop. There's adjustments down here at the bottom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing where it comes apart right here, and we're gonna hook this system into the D-rings up on the shoulder straps. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to hook that, that bare code on this pack. And I want you to, I'm going to take my time and show you how to do this thing so it's not too confusing. The bow simply, if you lay the pack on the ground, will simply fit into the pocket down the bottom like this. That's going to carry your wheel. There's a, a strap down here. This strap doesn't have to go through the bow anywhere. You can tighten it up if you want to. This assembly right here that I showed you earlier is going to come out of the pack and what you do is you loosen this up like this on both sides there's there's slide buckles and you take that thing and just it has elastic in the sides of it right here so it's going to stretch just stretch that right over the top of the bow okay we need to flip it so let's pull that back out let's flip it over what we want to do is we want this strap and I'm glad we did that this strap with the buckle needs to be on the inside Yep, straight over like that. So just grab the yep. buckle and pull it over. There you go, just like that. That's all you got to do. Okay, so why in the heck are we doing that? Well, we need to have that bow being pulled down into this pocket. That's key number one. We need it to stay in here. We don't want your bow jumping out of there. 
So this loop is solid. It's not going to come any further down the bow, but we've got to hold the bow at the top. Then when you take this and you pull this strap tight, it pulls that bow down into that pocket with this elastic. Then simply take the, the, the strap up here that's left and hook it through the D-rings on the shoulder straps right here. And go through both of them. It feels like you're going to have everything too loose. It doesn't matter because once you get it on there, what you'll see, and I'll put this on my back. I talked about making this a quick release buckle right here, and it just really didn't work as well as just having the adjustable slide buckle. Once this is set up for your bow, you don't have to adjust the original straps I did. You can just stretch it over the top and pull it down into there. But what he's doing is he's taking the end of that strap and, and lacing it through this buckle, which is the That's all I was buckle. doing, correct. Okay. So now that this pack has the bow on it, it's hooked into the pack, it's hooked onto the shoulder straps, you can see how that's pulling in to the back and pushing down into the bow case. This thing's going to be way long for me because I adjusted it to fit Jim earlier. No, I didn't even adjust it to fit you right, did I? <laughs> it's for someone that's seven foot tall. The point I want to show you is how that sucks that to the back. And if that was all adjusted on the torso length, I've got these shoulder straps too high on my body. And that's okay, just so you see what's going on there. Now that holds that bow in tight up against the back. So as hard and confusing as that looks, it's, it's really actually quite easy. And it'll do a good job for you. The bow is on there. It's not going to come off, which is what we want. And it's not bouncing. It's not bouncing. It doesn't even... It doesn't even you, after you get going down the trail, you don't even really know you have it on there. So if you're going to try and be quick and get it off, that's not going to happen. That's not designed that way. It's designed to carry the bow nice and tight. Walking in in the dark, walking out in the dark, crossing a river, climbing a hill. When you need your hands, you have a place to put your bow. That leaves you both hands free to carry those trophy antlers and things out with. That's right. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if, you're, if you're using a drag or you're dragging a deer by the horns and you just need somewhere to put your bow, you, uh, you know, you don't have your, your buddy along to carry all your equipment. Okay, so when you want to take the bow off, what you do is unhook that off the D-ring, take the strap back over the top of the bow, you can loosen the straps down here, slide this thing back, and your bow's out. It's, it's, it's an easy deal. So if you're hiking in in the dark or you need to carry your bow, that's how you use the bow carrier. The bow carrier pocket is again on the bottom of the pack. This hardware, this whole mess of stuff can go back in this pocket right here. You can take this pocket, you can roll it right up. What I want you to know is when we build a pack, when we build it for Jim or we build it for anybody or anything, we test this stuff. I don't, I don't do this on a computer. I, this, isn't, this isn't some kind of cool technology. This is put it on your back and climb up down the hill and make sure the cotton picking thing works. Because the last thing we want to do is sell you a pack not knowing whether that strap assembly works correctly for you or not. If you've used it like I showed you, it'll work right. It does a good job for you in a lumbar style pack. Well, they're made for a hunter. That's right. And made by a hunter. That's right. And what, you know, one of the things I've done is I, I own a retail store. And as we built and, and worked with these packs, we take them in and we get input from lots of people. You know, more minds on something you know, this may have come from, this expansion pocket may have come from a guy standing there saying, that's a cool pack, I wish it was, could get a little bit bigger. So I'm not saying that did come that way, but we have a lot of people go through these packs with us before we actually put them in the catalog and make sure the bugs are worked out of them and we use them in the field in a season before we put them in the lineup. This pack is 1,370 cubic inches. And that's with all the pockets counted. Uh, you could have the expansion. When you open that up, it's going to take it out to 1,450. Uh, the thing about the pack is, for all applications, everybody I know has some kind of lumbar pack. So, so this is the pack. If a guy is only going to have one pack, I would recommend a lumbar pack. The lumbar pack is the pack that you can do most everything with. You can keep your stuff organized in this thing. You can hang it in the closet when you get ready to go hunt, and you go grab your stuff, and you're off and running. Unless you're going in five miles on a big game hunt, you need something to pack your meat out of it. That's right.
because it's not That's a meat packer. That's why different packs for different situations. That's right. It's not a meat packer. So if you're a big game hunter, this would be a great turkey pack. You use it for turkeys and stuff like that. But if you're a big game hunter, you want to check out our one of our other packs, our Western, our Canadian, or our Alaskan. And you also have a lot of testimonials on your website, right? We do, yeah. The website is blacks-creek.com. And go on there. We've got testimonials. And, uh, you know, if you are watching this DVD and, and you want your buddy to see it, you can go on there and you can download it if you have high-speed internet. You can, you can check this out on the website. Or you can go on my website, elkhornhuntgear.com, and also see lots of photographs of, of uh, successful hunters and their comments on the pack. 